Richard. Yeah? We've been treating you really badly, mate. And me and the crew decided to give you Star Wars tickets to the premiere, mate. Really? Exactly. Which, yeah, it is. These, these are tickets these, these to the, are the Star tickets, Wars Force Awakens premiere. 100% mate. Really? Those are the tickets mm -hmm. to Star Wars. I hope you like it. Wait, what are you doing? Richard, what? what are you doing? What are you doing? Richard, those bollocks. are tickets to Star I'll tell you Wars. Why? Because you treat me so it's badly. A, Richard! No, bollocks. Richard, it's actually tickets. Well, it's not Gods of Egypt. No! <gasps> Reports have been coming in from Nintendo fans of a huge spike in injuries and mortal TV wounds since the release of the new Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Here are our top three tips to prevent pesky Nintendo Wii and Wii U controller accidents befalling you, your family, and your television. Number one. Glue your controllers to your hands. Number two. Only play your Wii recklessly at your friend's house. And finally, number C. Go to your local game retailer and buy an Xbox One. Star Wars Battlefront was released last week, and we here at Danger Zone have been playing it, and we would like to categorically say that we play it constantly, and it's more fun than a free prostitutes and bagel day. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good shit. As per usual though, there are a bunch of whiny piss pot little game trolls moaning about faults with the game that are so microscopic that the retard dad out of Honey Eyes Shrunk the Kids would have to invent a whole new microscope garden sex swing to find them. If there aren't enough game modes, then you're a spoiled turd because there are. So just enjoy the game and if you don't like it, don't play it. God. People expect too much these days. People expect every game that comes out to be to be the best game ever. And then they, they cry when it's not perfect. I mean, get a fucking life. Jesus. Not every game can be Fallout 4. Retards. We know that if you are a regular viewer of the show, you're used to us taking the mickey out of people and being mean about the games that they love. Well, tonight, we would like to do something a little bit different. So, gather round and grab a cup of cocoa as we actually do a review of a game. Normally. Like IGN. But without the tits and the ass. Typo Man is a charmer of a 2D platformer where having a degree in English will be a good thing rather than something to hide with shame from your fellow cod shitheads because yes, you actually have to use your brain in order to play it. Launched on the Wii U only, it features a, a beautiful gothic graphical style and an impressive level design. It feels like the kind of thing Christopher Lee would have played were he alive today. He's not bullshitting. To war! And there you have it. An actual review of a game. <laughs> Hello? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. I said all the stuff you wanted me to. Yep. Yes, it was normal. <laughs> no, no, no. Nothing weird happened. Nothing weird happened at all. Now, um... Can I have the money, please? Oh, yeah, <laughs> very good. Yes, I'll give you your money. <laughs> I'll give you your money. Never! <laughs> like and subscribe, like and subscribe to the channel, yeah? <laughs> Rick Howard, Rick Howard, Rick Howard in the house. <laughs> and now to enter the danger zone! For this 
week's Danger Zone, I went for a quaint little shopping trip on Black Friday. Here are some scenes from that calm little shopping trip. Get out of my way! I want this duck! If anyone touches it, the duck gets cut and no one gets it, you understand? Move, you little bitch! This is my duck! I said fucking move! Oh, shit. She's bleeding! She's bleeding! Fairy lights are a fire, this is a consumer dream come true! Don't you come near me! I'll stab you in the face, I promise! I will! You see what I did to that little girl? I slashed her arm off, didn't I? Yeah! She tried to get my duck, you try to get these fairy lights, I'll take you in off! <laughs> 